We all good? Yep. Okay, so your first question is, can you talk about your future career slash path in life and how it might relate to this position? Yes, for sure. So as some of you may know, I'm pre-law and I really hope to pursue a career in human rights law and civil rights law in the future. And the thing is about this is I'm most definitely not the person you see when, you, um, when I lead meetings. I'm soft-spoken and shy. And the fact that I want to pursue a career in law has always confused me because what we see on the media and in the courtrooms is, you know, this person who's, you know, arguing and defending their clients and all of that. But I think what it really takes to be a lawyer um, is a lot of listening and a lot of reflection and a lot of working behind the scenes and being able to work on your own. And I think that really ties into being IVP and just the whole point of Troy Fi being advocacy related is that we're here to listen to folks, to be able to see different perspectives, to balance them and find where those intersections lie and how we can kind of grow productively from those intersections. And I think tying my uh, my career goals to kind of to IVP is that I really wanna empower folks and interns and all of us that, you know, we have agency voice and the power to make change through whatever field you choose. Troy Fi was actually the very reason I finally realized that I wanted to be pre-law because of our emphasis on advocacy and the fact that as a community and as individuals, we have that power to change the like the environment and the community around us. And I think that's the very thing I want to emphasize in our leadership cohort in a time like this, in a time of unprecedented, I don't wanna say the word unprecedented, but in light of COVID, it's easy to feel really helpless and it's easy to really feel like you don't have a say in what's going on in the world. But um, like through a career, not only in law, but just empowering our interns and being able to have these honest conversations. I really want to let folks know that they have that agency to make whatever they want, not only of their career, but of their life. Thank you. Um, your next question is, do you have any experiences as a mentor figure that you think would further support your role as IVP slash intern mom? Yes. So, I mean, I talked a lot about being CC and I can talk about that briefly just before talking about other experiences. I think um, being CC is sometimes seen as event planning and event implementation, but I think what it really is at its core is being able to be that mentor for folks and being able to have the hard conversations and open spaces for folks to reflect on themselves in a light that they might not have seen in the past. Um, in other positions, I was the Vice President of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion at the Women's Network, and that really does place an emphasis on being a mentor and a listener, and that I'm able to listen to other folks' perspectives and what do they want to see, what do they think our organization is lacking, and how can I just better serve our community. I was also, I'm also an incoming editor, um, a legal editor outside of Troy Fi, and I'm in that role, I am managing interns. And I think while it may seem very cold, in the fact that it is legal. It does deal a lot with having to support people and talking about very rough legal cases and legal topics that might be sensitive and hard to talk about. And with that, it really does open a space for open and honest communication. That's what I wanna emphasize with leadership interns that we can talk and we can kind of grow from these conversations that might be uncomfortable at first. Thank you, Gabby. Um, your next question is, how would you go about preventing conflict from, from occurring on board or between general members? That's a great question. And I think, you know, in preventing conflict, it really just stems from creating an environment where folks feel safe and that they can voice their opinions. Conflict can come from not feeling heard or not feeling like your voice matters. And I think to prevent that, I really want to ensure that everyone has an outlet to speak their mind if they're more comfortable kind of sharing their thoughts to reform. As I mentioned in my platform, I want to introduce um, individual check-ins with our interns, with e-boarders, and making myself available for general members beyond office hours so that if they feel like something is wrong within Troy Fire, if they feel like there's something bothering them and they need someone to talk to about it um, prior for it escalating, I want to be there for them to discuss that. But I think it's, it comes from the beginning. It comes from when we welcome people out when they come in through that door. It's emphasizing that sense of family and the fact that they will be heard no matter what. If you're dissenting, if you're agreeing, if you don't even know where you are in between those two things, you're valid and you're heard. And I think by fostering that community through open and honest communication lines is the best way we can ensure that conflict is prevented to the best of everyone's ability. Thank you. Um, one last question. Quick question, however you want to answer this, you have 30 seconds, so how comfortable would you feel running leadership board and what plans do you have for it? 
Okay, oh, well, since we we're short on time, you can definitely refer to the document I sent prior. And it has a lot of my plans, not only for um, the culture and um, community engagement project where folks can work directly with our communities and give back to where we need it the most, but I also want to implement more solid professional development meetings as well as individual check-ins with each intern. If we're transitioning to an in-person semester, it's a lot to take on just as a person. And I wanna be there for folks to, as a, okay, as a support system, as always. Thank you, Gabby. Everyone give her a round of applause. Thank you so 